Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my talk, Novel Evaluation Metric for Deep Learning Based Sentinel Analysis and its Extended Application to Imbalance the Data. Before I go in into detail, I first want to give a motivation. Deep Learning Paradigm has received a significant amount of attention and showed great potential recently. However, Deep learning method is at first used to solve the classification problems. As previous works pointed out, such an analysis and classification problems do not share the same objective. Also, some work have noticed that there is a gap between such metrics like guessing entropy, success rate, and deep learning metric accuracy. Besides, recent works show deep learning based such an analysis suffers from imbalanced data. In this work, we want to explore the relations between deep learning and such an analysis and try to give a better evaluation metric for deep learning based such an analysis. In this process, we also propose a good loss function which solves the problems of imbalanced data. First, I give some basic definition useful for this formula. We define cross entropy between the true distribution and the predicted distribution given by the model as follows. Here, x denotes the leakage and y denotes the labels. In practice, when we use cross entropy laws, we are using the estimation of cross entropy on a sampling set. Let t be the training data with label and m theta the model. Then, then the cross entropy loss is defined over the training set and the model. Since cross entropy loss is an estimation of cross entropy on a sampling set by the law of large numbers, we have cross entropy loss converges to cross entropy in probability. For deep learning based training attack, the general procedure is like this. We first collect our such and linkage matrices, then we calculate the sensitive intermediate with the key and public variable. Transforming the sensitive intermediate to a label using some labeling function f. Next, we feed our model with the traces and the labels starting the training process. After training, we use maximum likelihood method calculating the scores for all key hypotheses and discriminate which key is most likely to be the right one by comparing their scores. This equation shows how to calculate the maximum likelihood score. Here we can see why accuracy is not a good metric for such an analysis. Accuracy is designed to show the performance of the models on a single prediction. However, in profiling attack, we use maximum likelihood method where a set of traces related to the same key are given. Accuracy fail to tell the underlying mechanism and concentrate only on the labels. This is also where the, ob the objectives of classification and profiling attack have conflicts. Because when conducting profiling attack, we are not trying to find the model giving excellent results on a single input, but we hope the overall results on the whole attacking set can help us retrieve the right key. Deep learning method designed for classification does not know this, and thus it may not be an optimal solution sometimes. The case can turn worse when data becomes imbalanced since high accuracy is no longer our primary purpose in such an analysis. When we talk about cross entropy in deep learning, it concerns with the labels. However, in such an analysis, labels are generated from key hypotheses. Before I give a new metric, I will first re redefine cross entropy in a slight different way. Here comes the def definition. Let LK be labels generated with key hypotheses K. Then the cross entropy between the true distribution and the predicted distribution with respect to the key hypothesis key denoted as CEK is defined as follows. 
it's clear that the definition is compatible with the, the original definition of closed entropy if k is the right k. Also notice that we expand the definition of closed entropy to all possible key hypotheses. Actually, there is a tight relation between the maximum likelihood score and the cross entropy for key hypotheses. Thanks to the law of budget numbers, the expectation of the opposite of the maximum likelihood score now always equals the cross entropy for the corresponding key hypothesis. That's why we redefine cross entropy. With this tight relation, we can define a new metric from the perspective of such an analysis. By considering both cross entropy of the right key and the wrong keys, which have the direct relation with their maximum likelihood scores, we define a novel metric called cross entropy ratio. Let k star be the right key, the cross entropy ratio is defined as follows. Here, the numerator is the cross entropy for the right key, and the denominator is the expectation of the cross entropy for the wrong keys. Regarding the relation between maximum likelihood score and cross entropy, a metric considers both the scores of the right key and the wrong keys. So our metric is directly linked to the attacking process now. The denominator of the cross entropy ratio can be further simplified with two reasonable assumptions. The first assumption is that when we're generating labels, the output of the cryptographic primitive are computationally indistinguishable from random outputs. The second assumption is when k not equals k star then k is independent of the model m theta. With these two assumptions, by substituting the output of crypto cryptographic primitive g with a uniform distributed random variable u, we have equation 7. This equation shows the expectation of the expectation of the cross entropy for the wrong keys is exactly the same as the cross entropy for any wrong key. This is true since the wrong keys are shadowed by the cryptographic primitive G and the deep learning model knows nothing about it. In this way, cross entropy ratio metric can be simplified as the ratio between the cross entropy of the right key and the cross entropy of any wrong key. Combining equation 5 and equation 8, we have some interesting results. Equation 5 tells us, given a key hypothesis, the expectation of the opposite of the maximum likelihood score is exactly the cross entropy. Equation 8 gives us the definition of a cross entropy ratio. Combining these two equations, we have some interesting results. That cross entropy ratio equals gamma if we make a difference between the expectations of the score for the right key and the expectations of the score for any wrong key. The result is equal to 1 minus gamma multiply the expectation of the minus score for the wrong key. Here we see how cross entropy ratio affects the attacking process. Since this part, this part is always positive, if cross entropy ratio is less than 1, it means the expectations of the score for the right key is greater than the score for the wrong key. In this way, hopefully we think with sufficient such analysis, the attack will be successful. Actually, considering a widely accepted evaluation metric for such an analysis, guessing entropy and the success rate, the following proposition holds. For any attacking set, 
as A drawn uniformly from the joint distribution and uh, key K star with N traces and the tagger whose aim is to retrieve the right key. Cur the Carlson entropy ratio is less than 1 implies when N approaches infinity, guessing entropy and success rate will be 1. Apart from the proposition, we also have some observations showing why cross entropy ratio is a good such metric. According to equation 9, with the smaller cross entropy ratio, the difference between the expectations for the scores gets, gets bigger, which means it's easier to retrieve the right key, and thus the attacker might need less traces to mount a successful attack or with the same amount of traces, you might get a lower gas entropy and a higher success rate. However, this hasn't been proved yet, but we will verify it with our later experiments. Equation 9 also implies that on average, since the right key and the wrong keys will be more distinguishable with a bigger cross entropy for the wrong key which in turn verifies the definition of cross entropy ratio is reasonable. Is reasonable. Cross entropy ratio considers both the cross entropy for the right and the wrong keys, and here we see how the cross, ent cross entropy for wrong keys affects our attacking results. Before I show you our experimental results, I first give a brief overview on how to estimate cross entropy ratio like traditional side channel metrics. First, let me introduce the lemma. Let sequence A and sequence B be two sequences of random variables. Sequence A converges to a constant alpha in probability. Sequence B is no less than 1 and converges to a constant beta in probability. Then the fraction of sequence A and sequence B converges to alpha divided by beta in probability. This lemma can be proved using the definition of convergence in probability. The condition B sequence B is no less than 1 can be relaxed. This lemma shows the convergence property of the ratio remains if both the numerator and the denominator have the convergence property. With this lemma, we only need to consider the estimation of the numerator and the denominator. Thanks to the law of like numbers, we know that cross entropy loss converges in probability to cross, cross entropy. Let SP be, be, let SP be traces generated from the right key with labels. Then we know the cross entropy, the cross entropy loss or estimation of the cross entropy converges in probability to the cross entropy of k star. The thing that SPR, the thing that SPR be a randomized trace set where u are uniformly distributed, then we also have the convergence property. Actually, the random the the Randomized, the randomized set can be generated by just shuffling the labels of the normal trace set SP. It has the same function. Regenerating the labels is not needed. Combining these two convergence property, equation 10 and equation 11, with the lemma, we can give an estimation of cross entropy ratio with the convergence property hold. Now I demonstrate some of our experiments on SCART dataset. Detailed results can be found in our paper. First, this is a figure about the packing process for multi-layer perception with Hamming weight labels used in the original SCART paper. Some parameters are shown on the top right of the figure. 
from the figure, we can see that C constant ratio is closely related to the attacking performance. A smaller cross entropy ratio indicates the gassing entropy will drop sharply when the attacking traces increase. For example, the blue line, which corresponds to the smallest cross entropy ratio, always have the smallest gas entropy. Also, for multi-layer perceptual model, using the output of S-box as labels, the results are similar. The curve with lower constant ratio has better performance than the curve with higher constant ratio. The experiments verify that constant ratio can properly reflect the attacking results, which means it's a good such and metric for profiling attack. To further investigate the effectiveness of cross entropy ratio with imbalanced data and show why deep learning metrics such as accuracy are not suitable in some occasions, we also conduct several experiments with different levels of the imbalanced training data. For simplicity, we use the least significant bit of the output of the S box as our label. The results are shown in the figure. It is evident that with the increasing of the level of imbalance, the accuracy of the model keeps increasing, while the attacking performance becomes worse. On the contrary, cause entropy ratio still reflects attacking results faithfully without misleading. In this way, we conclude cause entropy ratio is more suitable than deep when deep learning metric accuracy with the data is imbalanced. Also, estimating cross entropy ratio is easy and has similar computational complexity to the calculation of accuracy. In our experiment, time cost from computing cross entropy ratio and accuracy is close, both consuming about 7 milliseconds, and both are faster than the calculating of gas entropy or success rate, which need to mount practical attacks. Since cross entropy ratio is a good metric derived from Satyana's perspective, a natural thought is to adapt it to a new kind of loss function for the training of deep learning models. We define cross, ent cross entropy ratio laws or simplify ratio laws as follows. Here, SP is the training set and SPR is the training set with shuffled labels. And N is the constant defined by user to determine how many shuffled sets are needed. With the large N, the estimation will be more accurate. Actually, cross entry loss is just an estimation of cross entry ratio with the on the training set. Due to the good properties of cross-entropy cross ratio metric when facing imbalanced data, the ratio laws also have the power of animating the influence of imbalance. The reason behind is the ratio laws is associated with the keys and take both the right key and the wrong keys into consideration. These loss functions are not focus too much on the labels like cross entropy loss function whose purpose is to maximize the prediction accuracy. Instead, the ratio loss maximizes the difference between the right key and the wrong key, which is exactly what we want because we use maximum likelihood method. So the imbalance problem will not bother the ratio laws since both the labels from the right key and the wrong keys are used and the influence is counteracted. We have abundant experiments on different data sets with different deep learning models. All the models use Hamming width or Hamming distance labels, which is imbalanced. For First, for SPART, 
multi-layer perception and synchronized traces, the results are encouraging. Cross entropy ratio loss performs better than cross entropy loss in all conditions. Well, as Garvey says, with many cheaters, where we use uh, where we use CNN models, guessing entropy for the ratio loss corresponding to the orange line drops sharply sh drops sharper, sharper than the blue line, which use cross entropy loss. For traces with random delays, we will also use CNN as a model. The ratio loss function also performs better. And for hardware implementations with the multi layer perception model, the ratio loss should, should significant improvements. improvements. The secret key can be recovered using about 2,000 traces with ratio loss. However, cross entropy loss are not even powerful enough to mount a successful attack. All the results show ratio loss function is more efficient than cross entropy loss function with imbalanced data for software and hardware implementations for multi layer perceptual and CNN models for synchronized and desynchronized traces and for both order and high order cases. So we properly solve the problems of imbalanced data in such a scenario. In conclusion, we propose deep learning based high channel evaluation metric, cross entropy ratio, which can be used to evaluate the performance of deep learning models for such an analysis. We show that cross entropy ratio is closely related to commonly used such an metrics, guessing entropy and success rate, both in theory and our experiments. Besides, it works stably with imbalanced data. We also adapted adapt cross entropy ratio metric to new kind of loss function for deep neural networks, properly solving the problems of the imbalanced data in such a scenario. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email.